Hey Taurus, welcome to Sunshine Haze. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Thanks to everybody that's been watching my videos and sharing them and subscribing to my channel. Um, especially big thanks to those of you that have booked readings for me or from me. Um, I'm glad to hear that they're resonating with you all. And then also, I saw that y'all love those $10 eclipse readings. So I am bringing that sale back around because we have a partial solar eclipse in Aquarius going on right now. Uh, well, not right now, but at the same time, not at the same time either, but on the same day <laughs> as the new moon. So um, if you're interested in a personal reading, just go on and send me an email to sunshinehaze1129 at gmail.com. I have all that info down in the description box below. And as I said, this video is for Taurus. So Taurus, sun, moon, or rising. If you feel like what I'm saying in this video isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon or rising sign. And I have that linked in a playlist down in the description box below as well. Okay, guys. So, as you guys know, we are in a new lunar cycle now. Our, we are moving away from the Capricorn lunar cycle. I mean, just so you guys, that doesn't mean that the moon stays in that sign for the whole cycle, but it started with Capricorn, so it carried that Capricorn energy. We're now moving into the Aquarius lunar cycle. So, today's spread is going to be all, well, not all about Aquarius, but we're going to be looking into what this lunar cycle is going to be bringing in for you guys. The energy, anything that might be crossing you during this time. And because Aquarius is the sign of, well, it's a sign that has to do with the, the collective, the community, we're going to be looking at you in regards to a relation to your collective or your community, okay, Taurus? So let's go on and start shuffling you here. Not shuffling you, shuffling your cards, my cards. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Um, and I know you guys had, I think you had a rough Valentine spread from me, so... Those videos resonated with you and you are a Taurus. Uh, it's possible that this Taurus video may not resonate with you. Still check out your moon and rising sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, it may. So I hope before I even start pulling these cards that this spread can help you guys out, okay? What is in store for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising during this uh, new moon in Aquarius, these next few weeks. The energy they're gonna be working with, coming in for them, these challenges, worries, any extra advice on what's going on with Taurus in their community or your community. All right, let's go on and cut the deck for you guys. Alright, Taurus, let's see. Where are you at? Ooh. How many spreads have I pulled? I think I pulled the Justice card in everybody's spread so far. And I be shuffling these cards, y'all. You know, Saturn is in Capricorn. That's my favorite phrase. That's what I like to tell people. <laughs> Everything that's not supposed to be has to break down. But that may not have to do with karma. That may just have to be a big decision for you. So let's keep pulling cards. Taurus, I'm trying to get away from these love spreads for you, but we may be talking about love here today, okay? <laughs> we are, we are, we are, we are, most likely. And I will pull all these cards up to the top of the screen for you shortly so you can see them. And last soul advice, soul advice for Taurus. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> let me let me kick it to you. Where are you guys? You got the justice card. So I know in your Valentine spread, and I even think in your Capricorn moon spread, I talked about there possibly being a situation that you might be in where there's more than one person involved and there might be some feelings involved and you might have to make a decision or you might have to leave a situation. This justice card popping up um, is showing me that that decision or that situation is still going to be very prominent for you. Um, 
or that it's still getting ready to move in for you if it hasn't already. This is a very big decision for you, Taurus. Um, with that being said, this card is popping up because whatever this decision is, is probably going to change your life. Like it's, it's a very big decision and it can take you down one path that is very different from where you stand now or put you back in the same path that you're on now and back into the same cycle. So with this card popping up, my advice to you, Taurus, is to really, really think about whatever decision y'all were thinking about or situation y'all were thinking about over Valentine's Day popping up for you in the new moon in Capricorn or the Capricorn moon cycle. Really, really, really keep thinking about it because it's very big and it's very important. That's what this justice card is coming out for. It's going to have um, a very big effect on your life either way it goes, okay? Um, the next card we have coming for you is what is a challenge or a worry? Um, this is the Ace of Cups. So this card could have to do with creativity. It could have to do with, you know, family. could have to do with, you know, your emotions. But this is crossing you and it's coming across you in the, the justice position. So <clears throat> the Ace of, excuse me, the Ace of Cups points to, it's literally new love coming in for you <laughs> or love coming in or the beginning of a new new very emotionally charged um partnership now with this card popping up what i'm gonna say is taurus you're in a position to where you might especially if this is love you are probably in a position to where you are in love with somebody or you think you're in love with somebody or the love has fizzled out for you but you're you're stuck or either staying in a situation and then somebody is going to come along or there's somebody that you already have in mind that you maybe just previously sparked some sort of interest for that is actually coming to you so when the when, when you think about things like this you tend to call these situations the manifestation pretty much that's what it is so this is love's beginning. This is a very powerful high energy card. So it's, if you've been thinking about this person and it hasn't already happened, it's coming for you. And that's actually what's crossing you is you're worried about that because you know it's going to influence your decision. And you're probably like, is this situation even worth changing what I have going on or should I just stay where I'm at? What's important to think about Taurus is if you change your situation, it's not for a the next or a different situation. You have to change your situation for yourself, okay? Not because something else is coming along or you think something better is coming along, but because, you know, they say you can't do it, you can't help people, you can't love somebody else, you can't function correctly in this world until you have done the work or done the things that you're supposed to do within yourself, all right? So, um, the new moon. What is this new moon in Aquarius bringing in for you? Got the stalemate card. Uh, literally, going back to this justice and this ace of cups, um, there's probably some new love coming in for you or some, some new opportunity for you that will change, change what you have going on now. And you're not really sure about coming out of whatever it is that you're in now. You're kind of like, eh, I don't know. But then you're like, ooh, this other thing seems kind of, kind of popping. I might want to, you might, might want to see what that's about. You're actually, this, this lunar cycle for you, Taurus, is actually going to just bring you to another point where you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what decision to make. I don't know who to go with. I don't know what job to take. I don't know. You know, I just don't know what to do, but it's going to be two very probably polar opposite decisions or opposite choices that you have to pick from and you're going to be stuck dead center stalemate not knowing what to do however the next card that i see for you is in the position of you know you in relation to the collective or the com or the community as a whole but because it's coming after that stalemate the two of swords and it's the ace of swords um this is bringing in some clarity for you so i'm gonna say that this card has a dual meaning in this spread. So all of this right here, whatever you're thinking about, all that confusion, you're gonna figure out what you wanna do and it's gonna be very clear to you why and how to go about the situation. Now on the other hand, you've got this Ace of Swords coming up in you to relation, you in relation to the community or to the whole. 
This is the Ace of Swords, so Taurus. I think in your, yep, I'm pretty sure in your year forecast, I said something about you guys bringing enlightenment to people, being mentors to people. This Ace of Swords kind of plays into that. This Ace of Swords plays into this, like, you know, completely. Um, bringing clarity to people. So that enlightenment, this Ace of Swords is just a reminder that, hey, you are going to be bringing people to the light. You're going to be showing people the way of the world or showing people, you know, how things should be or how we should be moving in this world, okay? Last card we've got for you is the Son of Pentacles, which would be the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and this is in your soul message, your higher spirit card. This is just a extra advice for you. And it's the Son of Pentacles. So, Taurus, this could be you, honestly. You guys are um, earth signs and pentacles are uh, associated with earth signs. Um, this could point to your energy, which... So this card sometimes, it's okay, Taurus, you guys are stubborn. You guys are the bull. So this card sometimes can point to kind of being stuck in your ways. So I think the advice here is, you know, whatever you have going on, if you're sticking with it because it is routine for you, because you're used to it, because that's that's you, you need to take a step back from that and actually reevaluate your situation and see if you're actually meant to be in it. Um... On the other hand, this card could also mean that there could be somebody coming to you with a message, somebody, an earth sign, a younger, a younger male, most likely, or just a younger person or somebody who carries a more lively energy, um, earth sign who tends to be somebody who's very loyal, somebody who's a very dedicated person, could be coming to you with a little bit of information regarding, you know, this, uh, regarding this situation, and then, ooh. There is a third meaning to this card. This person coming in could be an earth sign or have a lot of earth in their chart. Younger earth sign doesn't necessarily have to be a male. I don't know, Taurus. That's that. Uh, you know, I <laughs> love readings are not my favorite. And literally for y'all, every time I do a general reading, love comes out. So Taurus, find these soulmates. Come on, get come on. I want to give y'all a I want to give y'all a regular general reading. Find your soulmates, get it popping, figure it out. <laughs> um yeah, no. With that being said, ooh, will of fortune. I was just talking about soulmates. Fate. Yeah, this person coming in might actually oops, secrets. This person coming in might actually be a soulmate for you, Taurus. Um 2018 is actually supposed to be a year filled with soulmate connections. Um, we've got Jupiter. I'm sorry, not Jupiter. We've got um, planet am I thinking of? You know what? I got videos because I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Something is in Scorpio. <laughs> I believe it is Jupiter. Is Jupiter in Scorpio? Jupiter... Neptune and the moon was the water trying, I think. I don't know. I have a video up. I'm sorry, guys. I really just drew a blank. I have a video up on the grand, couple videos on the grand water trying from the beginning of the year. One of those planets in Scorpio is really going to um, push us towards, you know, meeting our soulmates and then some other planetary aspects that I haven't talked about on here just yet, which I may actually... Um, do a soulmate video for you guys and talk about why soulmates are so prominent this year. So Taurus, I actually think you guys have <sighs> eight of cups in the tower. Let it go because things are about to change for you. What's under there? Okay, I thought that was the lover's card, y'all. Um, yeah, Taurus, you might have some soulmate connections coming in. I'm pretty sure that ace of cups is pointing to somebody that is a soulmate for you. So it's Actually, whether you want it to be or not, it's going to be hard for you to avoid that situation or to, you know, turn down a different path. Um, if you guys need any more insight, I do offer personal readings. Uh, SunshineHaze1129 at gmail.com. As I said, I do have that eclipse sale going on, $10 eclipse readings. And then also, thank you. Just thanks for watching. If you like the video, go on and hit that like button. 
If you have any questions or comments, drop one down below. I check the channel literally every day, so I probably will respond to you or at least like your comments. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go on and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with when I put out these tarot videos and these, you know, astrology videos or whatever. And yeah, you guys, this uh, new moon in Aquarius. Ooh, do I want to tell? Okay, guys, I'm shuffling still and the Three of Swords came out. Um, I think it does have to do with love. And I, there's the High Priestess. Listen, I'm going to stop looking at these cards because you guys can uh, contact me and we can get you a personal reading. <laughs> get you a personal reading. Okay, guys. There's the lovers. I, I'll put in the deck down. All right, Taurus. Thank you for watching. Um, Again, if this video <laughs> didn't <laughs> resonate with you, Go on and check out your moon or rising sign. See you guys next time.